chafón Tomando chelas Chingando tacos Having some fun Chicano chafón Hawkins a masa Fernie's all nervous Give him a beer Or two Chicano chafo Steve's an asshole Just lost some fans Oh well tough shit Welcome back to another episode of Chicano Shuffle. This is Ramon. Steph's. Fernando. So, fuck, what a day, huh? <laughs> I think we're, this is going to be the cursed episode, week. It's been like four hours already, no? So yeah. We're trying to, the, four hours trying to fucking start the podcast, then. What did we do in four hours, Ray? Uh, I well. Mean, breakfast, you guys ate. We waited for you while we ate. Yeah. Yeah, yeah so fucking. Well, it's because I put the alarm at 7.30, but I accidentally put p.m. instead of a.m. So technically, I should still be asleep right now. Yeah, so I, it was tripping me because we got here before you. And right away, dude, I, I get all fucking... You start making shit up. I'm panicking. I'm like, whoa, 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 whoa. Where's Esteban? Mm. You know, he didn't answer shit. He didn't answer the text. And he's not here. Oh, fuck, is he okay? But you te- what time did you text me? Well, when, I, when we got here... We got here and fucking the landlord was waiting for us. He's all like, hey, where's my burrito? Type of deal, right? Um, and then he had us fucking lug a table out. Oh, he had you guys working? Yeah, he fucking had us a big fucking master table, put it out in the front. Oh, free. Shit. You know? Yeah. So we got rid of that. We came back. It's and, a good podcast table if anybody needs it. Yeah. So then, um, which we call, ya estamos aquí, and I'm like, yeah, and I'm like, Esteban, I'm not sure, you know, did he text you guys? No. And Mario's like, call him up. And friends are like, send him a text. Just text him. You text me at 8.56, for So, I mean, you didn't worry that much. Man. No, no. Well, we got here at 8.38. <laughs> By the time we lugged the table and everything, and then we got back. And then and we I helped him move some other shit. Yeah, he helped him move some other shit. But then uh, ya, nos, ya, ya nos pusimos aquí. I'm like, hey, so, fuck, you stay on I don't know. So I texted you. Friends friend are like, text him. I'm like, All right. And then Mario's like, call him. I'm like, Mar- shit. Yeah, so I'm like. Fuck, yeah, go away. So I texted you first, and I waited like five minutes or whatever, no answer. No. So I'm like, all right, fuck it, I'm going to call him. It's one of those nights, bro. I don't know what happened. I told you, I think I might have ordered a guitar, too. <laughs> I think something's coming on no, Tuesday. But- I got a tracking information from FedEx. So. <laughs> I was like, uh-huh. maybe you overslept when he was like, no, 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 no. It's not like him. It's not <laughs> like him. I was like, but it happens to everybody. Wait. It's what? just yesterday I was already kind of, I started watching uh, on Netflix where I started watching um, that documentary about uh, the guy that was killing the cat. Oh, don't fuck with cats? Or? Yeah. I started watching that shit and then I started just kind of dozing off and I was like, oh man, maybe I should go to sleep already. And, and, and then this was like 10 minutes. I set the alarm for 7.30 p.m. And then I ordered a guitar. <laughs> and then I fucking went to sleep. And then... <laughs> no, estabas, no estabas churreado, güey? Uh, bueno, fuera, güey. No, I ran out. Oh, shit. And I'm not, I'm not really cool with the whole delivery shit. I still haven't really... You didn't trust that shit? Or... It takes me a while, güey. Like, even with Amazon, it took me a fucking years. When everybody was already raving about it, I was like, nah, fuck that. I'm, I keep it old school. I'm yeah. going to the store. I'm gonna make a line, I don't trust that shit. It's fucking 2016 and I'm still not trusting the internet to order shit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so that took me a while to get on board, but that whole delivery thing, I mean, I don't know. I kind of feel a little, no say way. I don't feel comfortable ordering from that shit. So, you know, it's a drag to go into the fucking spots, right? Cause okay, you wear a mask. You get, oh, okay. Fucking Tony cash. So you got to use a $4 fee ATM that they have in there. Uh, all right. 
But uh, no, I was just, uh, I mean, I've had a long day, a, a long week where I've been working a lot with so a lot of little things here and there. So yeah. yesterday was just like, the other day, stubborn trying to watch that movie. It fucking, I don't know, it was funny. Man. So I woke up like one of those, like, I thought it was like a work day. I woke up this morning like, oh shit. Ah. Mm. I fucking looked at the clock and I was like, oh shit, what day is it? Fucking, that's so Saturday. That's so scary. You don't even know it. As it is, I'm a deep sleeper. I don't know about you guys, but I fucking, I I wake up like, like. Asustado. No, like deep, where I go into like some deep fucking sleep, where that, um, sometimes it's hard for me to, like my, my girlfriend to wake up and shit and, and I, she has to like hit me a few times for me to even like oh, that process, where. Yeah, so, so it's just one of those mornings. Bro. So no stabas, güey. Yo paniqueado, güey. Right away. I'm all like, fuck, dude. I, honestly, I thought it was like, you know, something with your dad. You know, because mm -hmm. I'm like, in the three years, güey, que estamos haciendo esto, like, rarely are you late. Mm -hmm. And yeah. if you are late, you do Texas. Yeah. No, it was, it was just one of those nights, güey. Yeah, so oh. fucking Fern is over here like, Nothing. I was like, it, it happens to everybody. Where everybody yeah. fucking together with me. Then. I'm like, if it would have been you, Fernie, it would have been I'm like, oh, it's just Fernie. <laughs> That's fucked up. Yeah, uh, <laughs> I already expected from this I'm guy. on the side of the freeway, flipped over. <laughs> with I know, right? <laughs> I'm like, yeah, fuck it, it's Fernie. Yeah, he's know? asleep. He's no fucking... contesta, no, no llama. I'm like, all right, fuck it. Yeah, he's asleep. Yeah, so fucking. Pobrecito. Yeah, al rato when you text it, like, oh, shit. I'm like, all right, cool. Mm. So then, me arranqué a comprar los pinches, los breakfast burritos, wey. And then we're, and we're enjoying them. And then I uh, ate la plática y que la chingada. And then, I don't know, what the fuck, dude? It's just been a weird fucking start, you know? Like, and then the power supply didn't work on the fucking mixer. I think that, that, that killed it, too. The power supply, yeah. It's been weird. I don't know what the fuck. I mean, I know there's people that believe in, like, that mercury retrograde and all that bullshit, but... Okay. Yeah, some, some, somehow they... It's like some kind of... Uh, Certain, I don't know if it's like it has to do with like moon, the moon or the stars or some shit, but it's called Mer Mercury retrograde, and and a lot of people believe in that kind of shit. They don't buy anything new during that time. They don't start anything new because shit's about to fucking. It doesn't last supposedly. So sometimes uh, I think about it like that. Way. Is, is are we in some shit like that? Because last week my fucking all the information on my phone erased. I completely fucking. Had all my shit gone. You lip and they I didn't. I didn't store it in the iCloud. You don't trust that shit. Does it? Yeah. <laughs> does it? Fuck this does shit. it? Twenty eighteen where my phone fucking my phone. Uh, I thought that you I still have the old picture from when we went to Canada on this uh -huh. like from three years ago. And so the next day, I fucking woke up uh, front flat tire. So I had to take care of that. And I don't know. It's just been kind of. It's been a little trippy lately. Shit, now that you bring it up, yeah, it's been a weird week también, güey. Yeah, you've had... Yeah, on Monday, uh, I was supposed to uh, I was supposed to do a, a, a coll collab with another podcast, and I'm like, oh, yeah, it's in the bag. Shit. And uh, oh, fucking, I just, ended up working... We need new agents, where Fucking Ramon's agents keep getting them a bunch of gigs, bro. <laughs> I know, no, right? Fuck you guys. You agents, guys don't answer period, your wait. fucking... You we guys don't, we don't get anything, bro. You guys don't go into your DMs, or you guys don't reach out to people. My, 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 my problems are flat tires and my phone getting red. This guy's problems <laughs> is scheduling another <laughs> podcast. And Conflicting schedules, <laughs> Shit, bro. <laughs> so fucking, I didn't get home till like 1030, way, and I missed the whole thing, and I thought we thought, way. And then uh, on Tuesday, I ended up hurting my knee, por baboso, you know. And then uh, fucking, uh, what's, what happened? And then, um, oh, I misplaced my wallet on fucking Thursday, way. See, something's going on, bro. I'm like, what the fuck? I estaba como loco, way. And I know I had it because I used it in the morning. So I'm like, dude, did I leave it in the gas station? I'm like, no. Did I leave it in my, in my car? No. Lo puse en el pinche backpack, way, which I never fucking put it there. Sounds up, bro. And I'm like, fuck, but at least I found it, you know? And then uh, today, fucking, you know, todo paniqueado. I need to have some bread because I estaba todo asustado. I'm like, ¿cómo está este, man? Yeah, yeah. Echame la culpa, güey. That's, uh, you, you know, that's why you tore down a breakfast burrito because of me, güey. <laughs> Puro stress. Yeah, yeah, it was stress, stress eating, bro. Stress eating, bro, yeah. Stress eating. It's a, it's a real fucking yeah, issue right there. You, you ordered that burrito, bro. I had nothing to do with me. <laughs> No, I don't I need a burrito. I need a burrito, <laughs> damn it. <laughs> I know, right pa away. Para los nervios, para los nervios. Right away, me echa la culpa. <laughs> para los nervios. And then the, this power supply shit was a little iffy and shit. And I'm like, 
fucking out Mickey Mouse. Casi me mocho el pinche dedo. No, no fuck fuck you got a saw to that adapter. Wey. I'm like, you know what? I'm going to go to Walmart. Wey, to grab some. <laughs> yeah, fuck it. Tardé yo más en abrirlo en el que tú fuiste al pinche Walmart, güey. Yeah, well, there was a line. Like it, uh, I'm telling you, wey, there's, I guess there's still some stores that only let a certain amount of people in, wey, so I just went to Target, wey, fuck it. <laughs> you know, but uh, I don't know, man. I mean, something's going on. I, I think maybe it's M Mercury Retrograde, wey. We'll blame it on that. Yeah, pinch of mercury. This guy seems to be fucking... Fernie? Living through it, wait. No problems. Yeah, well, but he's got the, the fucking tira putazo shirt right now. Yeah, what's up with that Mexican versus everybody, wait? What are you trying to start over? No, it's a pinch compa Alfred, wait. He's got a shirt that says Pelonero, Mexicans versus everybody. Pinche Alfred's Pelonero, wait. Pinche Alfred is the kind of guy that throws a rock and hides his hand behind the back. Like, yeah, you know, shit. like, hey. no, for you. he'll point the finger yeah. at the guy next to him. He's an instigator. He's an instigator. He's a cabrón, wait. <laughs> Fuck. Yeah, so fucking Fernie on the you know, he's ready to throw putazos oh, man, today. He's, he's ready to throw down with that shirt, man. Yeah, but yeah, it's been a it's been a little Yeah, but the thing is that we started, we're recording, and we're getting the episode down. I mean, just so you guys know, it's eleven forty nine and we, we meet at eight thirty. So we're barely starting this. We're like, starting, yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah, no mama's win. Well. Yeah, see but uh, it's just like normally we yeah, we take about an hour like you know to set up and catch up and cheese make it. Well, I mean you guys keep me up to date on all this uh the shit that's going on in the fucking podcast coming anyway, so it's kind of exciting to hear all the cheese man. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I'm out of the loop. Yeah. So. And then um so you know, there's uh, all this little stuff just catching up and all because yeah you're busy uh fernie's got the kids and he's busy you no way no but you, you are busy got with a family kids. bro you got a family yeah, bro. you're so already you know. settled with like, yeah no you know. way and fucking right away. Yeah, me, 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 I don't even know what's coming on Tuesday. Wait, I might, I might have ordered a guitar. Wait, so I'm kind of, <laughs> I'm kind of excited. <laughs> Man, I just saw strap. I just saw a tracking order, so I don't even want to click on the link to see what's coming. It's, it's a grab bag of orders. And mm, shit. We'll see what. We'll see what. Uh, it, it's one of those tracking orders from fucking Africa. Way it's a fucking transa. Dude, I always get those text messages that they're make. They're trying to make me click on the link. Yeah. And I'm like, fuck you, <laughs> <laughs> fuck you. I ain't clicking on shit, bro. Cause even like the Netflix ones, way I don't know if you guys ever get those those Netflix emails and all that shit. Um, they're they're trying to uh, apparently like fucking. I know the dark web has a lot of shit, you know, and they have um they sell like their your Netflix account and all that shit, and that's how they get it. Where when you click on these stupid little links, they'll say your Netflix this and that. You click on it, and somehow they're able to fucking take all your shit. Oh, it says like log in, whatever, and then the page looks like yeah. Netflix. Pay, pay, there's a lot of like I said I mean, I've noticed a lot of PayPal ones too there's a lot of shit in the dark webs bro have you guys ever went into all that shit Nell <laughs> it's like the Ouija board bro I don't what, fuck what is it bro it's a dot what you, you know well, no. yeah but it's like a whole other pedal like you but don't what, just like but what, is the, the but what is the dot it's not a dot com it's the dot something no dot like a different dot what I'm saying it's like a whole other my girl was telling me about it it's literally it. like a whole other like network quest. but it's a so dot like the, the internet is a network and then it's those ways so you just don't like Google it, way he enters, please. But it's not a dot com way. It's a dot something that that's that's crypto way that you can't really fuck with it. I forgot what it was, way, but it's it's a different dot something. Um, but oh fuck, way those. I mean, she's moscas today. Don't see. I anything. know. Lo es la pinche mosca que está chingue chingue. Last week we had dos ancudos, way. Ya tenemos una pinche mosca. It's just a fly, way. Yeah, but it fucking annoys, man. <laughs> you mind that mm. if we were at a park or somewhere fucking recording this way? Ah, uh, nah. Como estuvieras, way. What do you mean? Pull back the curtain, pa que ve. I know, it's a green screen. <laughs> <laughs> so fucking, so it's a different dot, dot, dot it's org, a dot something. Dot it's a different, that's what I'm saying. It's a different network, yeah. quiz. Yeah. No, I've never been into the dark web. No me interesa. I don't want to fuck with it. It's like, like I said, it's like playing with the Ouija board, dude. No, you got no business going playing with that shit or messing with that shit. It's like, a, it's like another, what is it, other internet, pues. Yeah, but that's I mean, a, the, a lot un, of stuff, the underbelly of the internet. A, a lot of stuff, pues, is, is like behind locked doors, what is it, pues. So you show up, it's like you show up to the building, wait, todas las puertas están cerradas, wait, because everybody, you got to get like an invite and shit, wait. I mean, there's a lot of, there's a lot of, uh, my girlfriend was telling me about like the, the fucking, the, the little kid fucking YouTube videos that they have that kind of like weird videos where like that yeah. are deep I, into YouTube where I bet, I bet, I bet. they're just like kids videos of them, like playing around, like doing some shit. But 
but there's like certain steps that you take and all of a sudden it just opens up that whole other world where which to me it's crazy where considering how uh google youtube um how, is- how they fucking um they're, they're pretty quick at, at censoring shit and and, and uh, blocking shit but little things like that somehow fucking go under the rug or whatever but there's some weird shit out there bro there's some weird weird fucking well shit. i mean they've, they've gotten better way but oh i mean this the, the shit i mean you can't capture everything right? mm-hmm. and then by the time you catch it how many fucking kids already saw it was you know yeah how many kids is it already affected because remember we talked about it before way when that one was going around mama? Where, the mama no nah, when i'm almost other pedo way but the, the the other simple shit where like where it's like the normal video and then there was a there was one remember we talked about it oh the one with the cuts where he's telling kids how to commit suicide yeah right? Up and down for side to side for attention, up and down for, for, for permanent. to go to heaven or whatever. Oh, yeah. But it's just like a literally like a tiny little clip in the middle of, of, of a something video. else. Was yeah. like a video that did not get with the, the woogles or the woogies or yeah, whatever so, fucking videos. So like you, like your, your parent, you're, you're not watching every single second. Way. So you look at it, you go, oh shit, they're watching some little caricatura or whatever. Or they're watching some kids play or something. And then that second get the volteas way, that little thing comes out for fucking... Five, ten seconds, you know, just that Oh, little... it's, it's onion. Sorry, bro. Sorry to interrupt. Oh. It's a dot onion. Well, so yeah, that's so the... they're, they're not like dot coms. They're dot onions like a lot of those websites. Right? So... And then the crypto space too, where they're coming out with unstoppable domains. That's a dot crypto. So that's apparently from right there. Uh, because like right now, if, if I want to send Fernie some cryptocurrency, I have to copy and paste a big ass fucking uh, 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 chain, number man. and all. Now there's a company called Unstoppable Domains that's selling dot cryptos, and I, I've been buying some already. Where of like, um, I went onto like uh, like Instagram influencers. Like I bought the fuck Jerry dot crypto. So if he ever wants to use that, they have to buy it off of me. Fuck Jerry. Fuck Jerry. Yeah. So the dot crypto is like, if I want to send Fernando some cryptocurrency, I'll just go to Fernie dot crypto, and then it's automatic. It goes onto his wallet, and everything automatically. I don't need to send... Um, you just redirect it, yeah. Yeah, but that also is going to come with a... Uh, now it, they just made it an email address, Damien, so I can send him something on Doc Crypto, and then I can also build a website off of the Doc Crypto, and it's supposed to be on a blockchain that, that can't be touched with. So it's going to be the same thing as like uh, the Dot Onions, I guess. So, so I mean, the, the whole thing, yeah, the whole thing with crypto is that, that, that everybody sees potential is in the, is the blockchain way, the way you build... It's built with... Well, the blockchain way, if you think about it, where I mean, if they go to a cashless currency where the government um, all of a sudden is currency through a blockchain, good luck cheating on your fucking taxes way. Good luck being able to, to sell shit on the street. If it goes to that way, I mean, obviously, it's a, you're, you're, um, you're anticipating that we're going to get into a cashless society. But if we do get to that, we get rid of the actual currency. Good luck cheating on your taxes, or good luck spreading money for shit that's not claimed. Because if it going, if it goes through the blockchain, it's automatically on the ledger. You can't erase it. You can't manipulate it. So, so yeah. So what he's saying is, every every transaction on the blockchain, it, there's a record. Was it's building a record? I send you money, and it says, oh, I send it to such and such number or whatever. And then he sends you from money from that, and says, oh, I send this much to this thing. So there's a whole. Like a le- electronic ledger way. Mm-hmm. So all your little tranzas, they don't have names. Way. It doesn't say Fernando sent it to Esteban. But if you can figure out his little number of his, like his wallet, also, you can like put them together. Way. Yeah, everything's, everything's like on the blockchain. Way. So people can see how much money you got? I mean, Not that, but they'll know like, like if I want, if, if, if it, it's implemented like uh, on a national level where all of a sudden we're, we're exchanging currency through a blockchain that, that's... Uh, centralized to the government how are we going to cheat on taxes how are we going to do anything they're, they're going to know exactly where this money is going they're going to know exactly what happened if you're going to say like oh i only made this much a year okay then how come you spend this what's this about i mean it's just going to be a fucking mess dude. but yeah that, that's if it's centralized come we just stay away because i mean if it's centralized what he, what he means by that was is you have the block like right now it's mm. decentralized so you have the these long fucking like he's saying these long fucking uh, threads cryptic fucking numbers mm-hmm. where letters and numbers and H C X like six so they're, they're they're encrypted away so you don't know who Esteban is and all that shit but if it's centralized obviously the bank knows which of those long ones belongs to you that's your account number Puerto mm-hmm. so once it's centralized they it's easy to track everything 
right now being a decentralized post you're anonymous because no one unless you tell someone oh fucking this is my, my shit. fucking code right here yeah this is my fucking account I can't them my but coins. Want, if it all goes to one thing to one bank or whatever like when they what well, i think they're already starting to put shit together with the, the blockchain then it's then it's centralized but so then your name is attached to like that number that would be like your account number. Right? Well, that's what they were trying to do with the post office where with the voting, they wanted to use like a blockchain to, a to system track it? to yeah. track the votes. I mean, who knows what's going to happen wait, but the, the future does look fucking kind of weird where there's going to be I'll, a lot of shit. I'll tell you this much. Uh, the, the barbershop that my barber used to be at in downtown, they had a Bitcoin machine, dude. And the kind of people that want to go either deposit or withdraw, dude, they were... Sketchy, sketchy looking motherfuckers. Dude. Yeah, yeah, I mean, I'm not saying you know. There's some that they fucking. I don't know. You could just tell by their demeanor, the way they walk, right by the way they look, the the right little, away. the little. They look like marijuanos. <laughs> yeah, fucking. <laughs> they, they look like they're uh, conducting nefarious activities. Yep, definitely nef- mm, ne- nefarious. Mm-hmm. You know, why are you judging, bro? Nah, you know, I, I saw a couple of paisas one day Bob going. Was to buy a I was like, what the fuck? What are paisas doing using a Bitcoin machine? They're just trying to buy a PlayStation <laughs> off someone with Bitcoin. Uh, no, I, <laughs> I know. I saw a couple of fucking sketchy looking mijas. People are accepting that shit though. The other day I saw, um, just looking at some classic cars, and there was like a '69 Charger some guy was selling, and he was accepting crypto for it on Craigslist. He's like, cash or crypto? I'll take any. And I was like, fuck, dude, it's starting to slowly. Well, I mean, yeah, the banks are fucking, I'm telling you, the banks are already doing shit with it. Like, this is what they're saying, so. Yeah. That's when you know it's fucking it's getting legit, no? It's it's funny, though, how, like, fucking, you don't even have this physically, but yet, you know, the, the, the value of it. Yeah, is, but if you don't got cash in your pocket, you don't have it physically either. You just have your debit card or whatever, your that, credit that, card. That's, yeah, that's so, what it I is. So, I mean, hurry, hurry. You know, We're basically already there. I mean. You, Dick, you can, you can put shit on your. I don't trust it yet, but the shit like the Apple Pay and the Google yeah, Pay yeah. to put on your phone. I was like, dude, it's it simple. Just put on your phone and just fucking put your phone on the machine. That. I mean, I've, I've, I've had it, wait, and it's, it's super simple. Wait. Even like to buy something online, all you do is you put your fucking thumb, thumb your address, everything's all right. That's how you order guitars. Jesus Christ, I just spent fucking <laughs> 2,800 bucks. That's how you order guitars. <laughs> I'll get it Tuesday. <laughs> oh, fuck, dude. I just spent $2,800. Oh, my God. What the fuck? Oh, fuck it. Let's see what happens. Let's see what gets here. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So I mean, it's it's just I mean the the, the only difference is um, with that is is the system behind it, which is the blockchain. Mm. I mean, if we go if we go, if we go to a cashless society where it's the digital currency way, I mean, what's he gonna do to the taqueros in the corner way? What's he gonna do to people that are that are that are selling like based that? On the cash they're gonna they're based? gonna have the cash app. Yeah, or they're gonna have the link. little the little square mm-hmm. app or something. But they're know. still but. I mean, if we go to a cashless society, cash is, they won't, I mean, it's not going to be something that's accepted. And then with the whole COVID thing, cash is dirty, this and that. We're only taking debit card. I mean, it makes sense. <laughs> Weirdly enough, I think I've, I've used more cash during COVID way than Did before you? way. Oh, yeah. I, I'm surprised. I've, I never have cash. And during COVID, for some reason, I yeah, always have cash. I know. And this is like <laughs> the second or third time that we stop by and get coffee or whatever. He saca con sus pinches billetes. I'm like, this is weird. Yeah, even at Starbucks, I used to pay with my fucking Mercury retrograde, bro. <laughs> Fernie, keeping it old school. <laughs> I, I hardly <laughs> see him with cash. Mundo, el pinche el mundo. I had to dig up my cash with my gold coins. I mean, I'm, uh, it's going to take a while, but the paisitas are pretty fucking smart. Wait, they'll figure it out. Yeah, but, yeah they, you can, you, they can figure it out. Wait. But what I'm saying is they'll figure it out. But if it's in the blockchain, every transaction is recorded. But I, I'm saying it has to be. I mean, they'll still be the normal crypto. Uh, they'll get a, Bitcoin they'll is get a, a fucking a transa anonymous, account. Right? Bitcoin's an anonymous way. I mean, the crypto now is what I'm saying is still. Anonymous. But the thing about if you're going through a bank, the profound. thing about Bitcoin is like, I mean, the U.S. has a hard on for China way. I mean, Bitcoin is predominantly comes out of China. Well, they have the biggest mining shit. I mean, but pre- but what I'm what I'm saying is is um, if you're working outside the bank, was in crypto that. I say Bitcoin to, to talk about crypto porque the people know what that is. But yeah. Yeah. You say crypto and they're like, oh, well, well, crypto, well, what how? the fuck? A ver, explícalos. But you say no. Bitcoin, I'm pretty sure most people now Esophagus. know Bitcoin, no? But see, they, they associate Bitcoin and then they associate to what this guy's saying. Oh, nefarious people, shady people. Well, because people. It's, still, it's still anonymous. Look mm-hmm. at the digo. Yeah. So if if right the paisitas away. stay on that side of the fucking lane, pues. Yeah, yeah, they can. Then, then yeah, it, it, there's a ledger. 
but not, nothing really connecting them to it. They right? can, yeah, because I don't honestly, I don't see Bitcoin really legitimizing itself as like currency, a, like a currency that's like a staple, like a staple in, in the states where oh yeah, the government will be involved and shit like that because. Bitcoin is still you can mine it. There's other coins like XRP and like other so coins. So what do you that mean when you guys there? say mine it? How do you? Well, well, because I'm thinking like fucking. There's a cave or there's a fucking tunnel and people are mining. Yeah, in mining. a sense, but it's it's just computers. <laughs> okay, it's just computers <laughs> yeah. running. There's I'm sure there's listeners right there like they might yeah, be thinking no, the yeah. same thing it as I do. Funny, way, but he pictured Minecraft. Way. Yeah, yeah, I'm not like mining it. Like I'm fucking. You know, I got my little fucking there's, torches. There's I got, people online fucking host. Whole rooms of, of I mean, if Chinos we, if we had Minecraft if we had money, Bitcoin. we can make Bitcoin. If we had the equipment and the but money, but now it takes a lot way. Like it's been exponentially. That's what I'm saying. If we have money, we had so money. so and there's had China. The, there's the other problem. There's other coins that you can't mine, so they're a little bit more stable than Bitcoin because you can't recreate them. Like Bitcoin, you can mine them. You can, if we had the resources and and the and the fucking money to do it, we can we can create it. But there's other coins that you can't. People, and, people used to mine Bitcoin at your house, but you used to set up a little fucking thing of graphics cards and you leave it running 24 hours. Mm -hmm. And it's just literally doing, think, you can think of it kind of like it's doing math problems way, a chingo, like math problem after math problem after math problem. And you only, you, you do a, a math problem, it sale premio. Oh, you found a Bitcoin. Bring. That's why I call it mining. Because uh -huh. these cards are constantly just doing fucking essentially what's math problems with and and eventually you get a bitcoin oh ding there's a little bitcoin so that's why i said it's mining pues. oh. you fucking you have to grind mm. that's what they're doing but as this thing the the more every time you mine a bitcoin the next one gets harder and then the next the next one you find it gets harder and then the next one the problems i get exponentially harder so now it's at the point that you need places like china where power is is relatively cheap, but right? the, the government subsidizes it, and they do fucking whole factories. The fucking puros computers just running. And they they just had a flood like a few months ago that that wiped out a lot of those mine. You see pictures online of like computers, computers and floating. just just fucking underwater basically. So they took a hit. Where um, it's a very interesting fucking world, dude. The future is going to be with that whole Neuralink shit we were talking about with the chips. The Neuralink is crazy, way. Yes, yes, yes. Donde salió también el pinche China. No, well. Uh, the Elon Musk was one of the dudes que decía, hey, wey, fucking the AI los va, los va a chingar, wey. We yeah. need to fucking cut this shit out, wey. Because yeah. the more we dig into this AI, it's going to get us in trouble, tipo Terminator, wey. Fucking oh, Sky Skynet. Um, the event is going to turn on us type of deal. He was one of those guys. And then I guess after a while, he fucking, he changed his tune to, like, if you can't beat them, join them. So mm. what if we integrate it into ourselves so the computer is not a, is not is not as fast as, as it like it doesn't have that big of an advantage pues, over us because now we can instantly access info through this neural link pues. yeah that was original's idea right now he's he's going the medical path pues, but his original idea is so now you're instantly connected to the internet pues. she reminds me of that fucking movie where this guy gets uh like paraplegic and they put a chip on him Pinche. Oh, that was chingon where yeah. it's a fucking chingon yeah fighting. because uh he he the 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 chip talks to him. And mm -hmm. he's all like, just, just let me, let me do my thing. Can, can I give me control? What's yeah, your password? Me control. Or whatever? Yeah. And then like, all right, he gives him control and the little fucking chip starts fucking puteando, puteando cabrones. And the guy's just like, what the fuck? And the body's just reacting What's to it. Called, oh, what is it? Oh, that's a good fucking movie. But it, that, that, that Neuralink is something like that way. Cause he was, he's, he's, I guess the, 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 the next step is like I was saying. So you have the, the one in your brain and then the idea is. Wherever your your uh, spine or your your fucking connection was severed, you you put one on the other end. So once they map like where the signals are going and shit, that little chip will be, will be able to talk to the one on the other side, so it bridges that that gap that you have placed in your spine where the connection was lost. Mm -hmm. So you'll be able to move your limbs again, please. Because the reason you can't move your limbs is you know severed, please, and then there's no way to repair it. So now you have a chip that'll transmit the data. With. But I didn't hear it was too weird. I heard yeah, obviously, like it, obviously the brain, you can send frequencies from the brain to it, it interacts with other parts of your body. I didn't hear that they were going to put two. I just heard they were just going to put that one in your brain. And from there, it, 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 uh, it, it's in a certain part of the brain that's automatically connected to that section that you need to heal with. Yeah, but that's what I'm saying. So if you have 
like there, someone asked him a question, like, what are some of the next steps or applications? And there was a doctor with them, like when they're sitting, this is after they did the pig demonstration, when they're sitting him and some doctor, and they're saying like one of the use cases, or they see, yeah, you get all those connections, si estás intact, you know, if all your shit, right now they're pretty much like mapping, pues. they're, they're, they're putting like in the pigs and they're mapping, like when this fires off, what, what's responding, pues. And they're, they're experimenting with, all right, so if we fire this off, does it move his leg? Like, does his leg twitch or whatever? So they're like mapping it. So he said, well, one of the, the, the next like steps is like fucking uh, people that, that fucked up their spine and they're like paraplegic to, the, to put like pretty much two of them. One, the one in your brain that's picking up all the signals, like what you're trying to do. And the other one to respond on the other, uh, on, you literally would put it on the other end of where your shit was severed. So now they could talk to each other. So in other words, now your brain can talk to the to the part in your spine where we were severed. Mm -hmm. And now you could say, oh, shit, I want to walk. And your legs will move because you already reconnect, made that reconnection. I don't know. Eh? I mean, it's going to be weird, bro. There's going to be a lot of adjustment. Because, I mean, even with, like, the whole, like, uh, even now, eh? like, the, the whole little niche, like, sex, sex dolls, fucking love dolls kind of shit. I mean, if AI is something that's accessible to the masses years to come, like you're going to be able to buy a fucking sex robot that's basically AI way. So when you're going to start getting into some weird shit, like <laughs> what if somebody sees you fucking, if you hit the robot, is that going to be, are they going to come with like. On the upgrade. That's yeah, it's called the movie. The movie's called the upgrade. Are, it's a are, are they going to have rights like that? Where like you can't fucking abuse a, a AI dog because. I mean, it's going to be fucking weird. Well, the, isn't that the, the premise of the Animatrix? I think that's, uh, 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 the, what was it? So you have the Matrix, right? And then I think the Animatrix is a prequel that shows how, why is it that the machines rolls up and part of, a, a, I guess, a section on that, on the, it's an anime uh, of that movie is uh, like uh, people were mistreating or abusing fucking AI Mm. creatures you know they were torturing well, them it's a base of a lot of shit too because there's other movies too where where they get tired of being your servants but like being pushed around the i robot them you know yeah. with this day will smith mm. yeah they, they're you know fucking there's there's some they get wised up and then fucking yeah like why are you doing themselves? this to me you know type of deal i don't know they're like they're enough is enough type of deal yeah it's gonna be trippy bro skynet bro yeah it's but coming, bro. fucking pinche gente though i mean you got some people that are pretty Disturbed. Yeah, it's gonna happen when i mean but i wonder <laughs> what it. i wonder what like 20 25 years ago uh, what we have now that we're just kind of whatever about it that people would be porn like, on the phones you think so porn on yeah porn on your phone dude back in the days it was a, there was a process to it you know but but i don't see I people having a problem with that though they would they would be stoked about it why would, how would they have oh. a problem with having they, uh, i don't understand oh uh, i thought it was like uh, never mind i misunderstood the question i mean maybe like dating online uh, talking to somebody that you've never met like maybe yeah. that would be looked at as kind of weird oh I would yeah. never do that I don't know who I'd be talking to or whatever artificial intelligence yay or nay guys I don't think I mean there's nothing we can do about it it's inevitable way eh? oh yeah I it, think it's, I think it's, it's, it's we're already either you're gonna adapt or you're gonna fucking be left behind or you're gonna get wiped out so yeah. you need a neural link when the thing about it is like like most things cell phones I mean most technologies that you think about it's it's exclusive to the rich first, and then it trickles down when the prices go down to everyday people like, like us. Where with something like that, let's say a chip in your head or whatever is, is going to make you have a, a, an edge on somebody that doesn't have it. I mean, what I, what I worry about is how much advance those people are going to get before it's available for us. Because even right now, there's a lot of shit, stem cell therapy, uh, IVs, the NAD. There's a lot of shit that people that have money are doing that's making them fucking healthier, um, extending their extending their, their life. Yeah, and it's not it's, keeping them younger. It's not available to us because the price is still kind of. I mean, who's gonna spend eight thousand dollars on the on the stem cell therapy or or something else that's gonna really help you? We have pains. You're talking about knee knee shit. I mean, we all have pains, but uh financially that stuff's not available for us and when it is how much further ahead are those people that started when they could afford it and i'm sure you're going to be able to do upgrades with the Neuralink, right you want to fucking learn a couple of languages or whatever just download the software and you can speak it and understand it right yeah 
Yeah, it make translation. Mm-hmm. It make traveling fucking even better. But I mean, like I said, his his original like spark of idea was that now you have the connection. Was just like the AI has instant access to information. Uh-huh. Sure, it takes you a little bit longer to process, but for the seed, you can do a quick Google search. I mean, oh let me, oh yeah, Simon, Simon, where that's that movie's upgrade. Like let me let me Google search it. I mean, oh yeah, Simon. The movie's name's upgrade, you know. Yeah. So you you close that gap between us and the AI. It has to it has to start with medical shit. That's the only way that they can accept it. Present it to the. Yeah. I mean, if you present it as something that's gonna make you speak another language uh, from the get go, people are gonna be like, "What?" But if you f- cure blindness, uh, people that are paralyzed, if you bring it and introduce it that route, I mean, then people are gonna be more accepting with it. But um, but yeah, it's it's gonna be it's gonna be trippy, bro. So uh, let's think. F- Fast forward in the future then. So let's just say people get this neural link and everything. You're gonna be so advanced that you know we're not we're not gonna have any trades as far as you know, we're not gonna have any um come on, yeah, maintenance or like cleaners or people picking up the or you know, uh cosechando la, la verdura, la fruta or anything, right? Because yeah, like let's just say everybody has this chip, and it's gonna automatically it make you food, way. Right? No, 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 but it's gonna make you more valuable to a certain sense that you're not gonna spend w- that whatever you have. But that's what he's saying. Work. Everybody's not gonna be able to afford that chip, way. Right? Oh, uh, okay. There's still gonna be us lowly plebs down here, fucking chipless, way, still looking at shit on our phone. Yeah, yeah, and that's gonna be. That's a, imagine how expensive that shit's gonna be, way. Right? For I mean, for years too, wait, because it, yeah, and you don't want to be the first like, child either, right? Because there's gonna be fucking bugs up the ass on that one. Who it's knows? Fucking someone who knows? Where? Uh, third, fourth generation. I'm like, all right, now. But let even me jump third in. or fourth generation, how expensive is it gonna be? Yeah. Right? Nah, for us to be able to reach that, if we're not there financially, it's it's gonna be years, bro. I mean, so how further ahead are these people we're gonna, gonna be? Get? Like in our sixties and shit. I mean, 70s, like eighties. Uh, if you had like some medical condition, pues puede decir que you might get some help from insurance if you have insurance. And good but insurance. just for leisure way, like so I can see porn in my head without fucking. It's a, a black headset. mirror. That's a black mirror episode, dude. What we're getting there is what he's saying. Dude. I was even hearing some people say that even like with a, what uh, seeing a woman pregnant, it's not gonna be something that we're gonna see. Like if if somebody's gonna be pregnant, that's a that's gonna be like a status thing. Like you driving a fucking nice car, it's gonna be like, oh that person's pregnant like like that. Oh then then they're automatically in that branch of like lower middle class because the people that have money. They're not going to be required to be carrying the kid away. I mean, this this is the shit that people are thinking about right now. Ah, cabrón. Yeah, like it's going to be like a status thing. Like if if your if your chick's pregnant, you're fucking poor because that's not what. Yeah, the rich you, people you have like a, the you, rich people are going to be like a surrogate. Is that what you mean? Like a not a surrogate not, not or like an incubator? Person. Yeah, it's like it's something like an incubator, like an incubator kind oh, of deal. Oh shit! Oh shit! So that'll cabrón. be like a status thing. If your chick's pregnant, like it's gonna be like oh, you know, la pobre, oh that. this guy drives a bucket kind of shit. Oh, yeah. Well, there's that um, <laughs> what's the name of that show on Netflix? The the one with the the the, the fucking I, I brought it up before. The one they have, they have like a a chip in your neck way that that's pretty much like your hard drive way. Uh huh. So all your memories, like it pretty much has your soul, your uh-huh. memories, everything. Oh. And only the rich people can afford. The, so the rich people live pretty it's much. It's a forever. detective, right? The detective. Yeah. Um, that's two series. That's the one with the the Mackie. Carbon, guy. carbon. Altered carbon. Altered Is that carbon. The one? Yeah. It might be that one. Altered carbon. Yeah. So the essentially the 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 rich people are immortal way because they can afford because every every I mean all your memories and stuff are there. But you still need to fucking uh, use a, a machine to, to make you a new body. Mm. So poor people might be able to afford the chip. Not everybody can afford the chip. But it, only you can afford the chip, but you might not be able to afford the new body. Yeah. So the, the, the Ricos are pretty much immortal because they have the chip, plus they have like cloud backups. Yeah. And plus they have like a, a machine that makes some new bodies like in the restroom way. I mean, as we speak right now, there's people that, that are actually frozen right now with, with medical conditions the that the cure is going to, when the cure is here for this, that you have on file that I have, then you uh, bring me out of this fucking coma, wherever the fuck it is. And let me get cured right now. As we speak, there's people like that right now. There's yeah. frozen well, popsicles. So they, in that show, I mean, wait, like there's a, there's a character that has like her dad, like her dad or someone like on a little chip, like mm-hmm. she has a chip. Hoping one day she has enough to to buy him a new body, mm. and I'm, uh, but it goes like to what you're saying. So the rich are essentially immortal, way eh? because yeah. they got money to afford all this shit, and the poor live fucking normal lives, way eh? in the, the like the shithole way, eh? porque 
the the planet ya está todo polluted and shit, güey. That's gonna be interesting, bro. Yeah, it's um. I mean, I don't know. Do I want to be around that? Nah, sure. we're not gonna make it there. Around what? Around the the you know the whole chip and plants. Like I know I know my parents didn't ever imagine of having like a fucking sm super smart computer in the palm of their hands. You know. Yeah. You know, touch screen and shit. And I mean, I didn't even. I mean, never thought about it or imagined it. And fucking and the you know growing up in the eighties. Well, even when they came out, the flip phones, I never imagined that they there was gonna go to be this? apps. There's gonna be fucking really nice cameras on there. I mean, no shit. you go to a concert, fucking, you rarely see those those cameras. You rarely see everybody's on their phone. Yeah. I mean, these things from where they, when they came out, I mean, I didn't expect that we could be, we could do all this shit, well, record music on well, this. I was just talking to the compa Dave a few days ago where about um have a my mother every time I hear you know the. The fucking, um, the people that, that have that, um, conspiracy, that, I don't know, tampoco, conspiracy theory about the, that they're like, no way, don't, don't, don't get the COVID vaccine. They're going to, they're going to implant a chip in you to track you, fool. Mm -hmm. And I, and fucking, I'm telling Dave, every time I hear that way, I can't help but laugh because I want to tell him, hey, way, did you look up that shit on your phone or what? <laughs> did you read that shit on your phone? It, like, porque, way. You're That's, already carrying the tracking device. Yeah. Everybody's carrying the tracking device all day, all the time, way. Yeah. It tracks everything, way. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it, it's a uh, fucking... And I, I don't you think... Don't you don't need a chip you in your fucking you can't vaccine. Go, I mean, it's been rare that you leave your house without your phone, right? Yeah. 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 Shit, last week, Fernie dropped me off at my house, way. It took me... 10 minutes to realize that I didn't have my phone with me. I left it in his car. It's the fucking Freddy was already halfway to join his fucking his Sunday and shit. And yeah, I, it's about to blew up my phone where like someone died. When, yeah. I like I, was, telephone, I, I had to use a, I had to use an alternate phone to call him. I even called him. I'm like, hey, reach out to fucking Freddy. You know, he just took off a little while ago. I don't have my phone. The only reason I found out is because yeah, yeah, I can put my stuff away. I had to go drop a masa. I'm like, hey, where's my phone at? Mm -hmm. You know? I'm like, I need to catch up on, on fucking social mm -hmm. media stuff. And that's when I realized I didn't have my phone. Wait. Yeah, because it used to be like, oh, sure, where's my phone? And uh, I mean, yeah, we still think about people calling us, but that's not really <sighs> the priority when we when we forget our phones. No. Or maybe I need to call somebody. Now it's like, I need my phone to, I don't know, you're going you to fucking a Walmart and I bought an adapter. Let's, let's see which one's better. That kind of shit, yeah. right? Or Pero, dick around on Instagram and like... But okay, que ridiculo way that people fucking worry about tracking devices the government's well, going to put have it with them. Mm -hmm. How many times have you talked about what? something and then they're it pops reading up it on your phone? They're literally reading it on their phone. Oh shit, you know the government's going to put a tracking device in your phone, way? Yeah. Oh shit, I mean your phone in your veins? Yeah. You have it. Way. Yeah, and you're addicted to it, so you always have it with you. <laughs> and it tracks everything. <laughs> yeah. Think of like the stuff we talked about before, way, where you're you're having a random conversation and then the ads yeah. all of a sudden, oh shit, we're just talking about Talk, that way. like if you watch like those crime shows where they unsolved mysteries or shit like that they always can ping all oh, this phone was pinged here and this and that i mean they know everything dude that's what and, i'm saying he's people, right they already know they already yeah. you're already being tracked you're already <laughs> how many fucking like, theory, like, like i, don't I don't forgot how many like it's like a ridiculous like maybe we're videotaped like 30 or 40 times a day Probably like with, fácil, with the yeah. TVs when, or the cameras when we go into a store or whatever. Somebody's cell phone. Yeah, they, we, we're filmed that much a day where it's like, fuck. Like, I mean, it's already out. It's already I out. Yeah. yeah, wait. I, 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 every time I hear those conspiracy about anything, well, that government's going to track you. But you know what? Like, hey, you I, I, also ask, I also argue with those people that, oh, I don't argue, but I don't really agree with the people that, are, that would say like, well, if you're not doing anything, what are you trying to hide? That's not the point. You're, you're, you're coming into them my space my man. space like you're, you're 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 accepting like for the government to fucking be able to infiltrate shit and like edward snowden where people think he's a fucking this and that but oh that what did you hear the the government sued him mm. and he has to give up back he's got to give all his money up that from his book way and then so the fucking the government has these laws with whistleblowers where they, they can't fucking prove their case they're not going to hear it you're either you're either a whistleblower and you get charged uh, I forgot what's the, what's the what's what's the act that they charge you on? Espionage or something? Yeah, something like that. And so you can't prove your case, even if what you said is helping humanity and should something that they should know. Where this is that cabrón, way the pinches know. I want to tell you that they just they sued him and they, the government just won that because because uh, his book was and all his little all his speeches he's doing this uh, speeching tour he was doing way. Mm -hmm. 
that he has to give back like fucking 22 million or some shit with. I mean, do you or, do you think that that they should be charged the way they're charged, all the whistleblowers? Or you think? I mean, I, it like initially everybody's like, "Oh, pinche vato. but like in retrospect, I mean, you gotta see what what kind of it, those things are hard because you need a little bit of time, pues, to see the whole picture. Like that vato, that vato didn't even like dole out all the information where he gave it to journalists and journalists to go through, and as they pulled little things out and stories came out, the others were still getting like stories from the, the information Snowden fucking leaked. So it kind of took a while to like to see the whole picture and go, okay, this this what this dude leaked was pinchi valió la pena, you know? Mm-hmm. At that point, then you go, hey, wait, was they should figure something out, pues. It, he should not go to jail for life, pues. Okay, he committed a crime, pero dale como la esta, the, the one that just got fucking we we're talking about last time, the one that the that paid for her kids to get in college, you know? So mm-hmm. mamá así, wey, like mm-hmm. it was. Go to, you go okay. You go to jail six months and then you're good. You know, mm-hmm. algo así. Pero no, like like you're saying, they they give him this huge charge that if he comes back for life, wait, that they meten al bote, wait, some crazy shit like that. Wait. So, no más para que sepan, not, I don't think it's it's fair. Oh, hold on. Uh, well, it's not it was the guy that the 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 um. They leaked out the NSA information, right? Timon. Edward Snowden? Yeah, yeah. You already Googled him? No, or? I'm getting yeah, he a... Did. He's, <laughs> no. he's, he's going to throw some I'm knowledge getting, right now. I'm getting a, a text from the... Yeah. Uh, he's going to throw some some Snowden knowledge that he just Googled. No, because I'm saying, like, there, there's there's people that are that are legitimately fucking traitors, but like the China or some shit. Yeah, yeah. Or or they're doing it for profit. But this yeah. guy, over time, was, he made money, but... He didn't make money off like that that info he leaked. He made money off telling people about like, hey, they track this and this. This is what you can do mm-hmm. to to fight that. Yeah, I don't know, man. I, I don't feel like they should be that harsh to people that that are generally doing something that that people should know about. Where right? that's what I'm saying, way. Like if if once you get the wider view, way if they weren't doing it with just solely for profit, por this way, if it wasn't just for them. If, if it feels like a, a benefit to society, then then the government should go back and re-examine, pues, you know? It's Give like a lesser charge or something. It's like the people that, that can't film, like, undercover, like, the meat fucking processing plants and shit like that. Like, they get charged criminally. And a poco? Yeah, you can't. Like, you can't do that way. Like, you fucking you throw the book at your ass. They, they, um, they protect the, the, the meat companies where... If, if you're doing like uh, investigative journalism and you go undercover and work at these slaughterhouses, that video can get you criminal charges. Ah, cabrón. Like you can't, you can't fucking rat them out. Like, Chicken, beef, pork. all that shit, Tyson, all that shit that Farmer we all know. John and shit. Yeah, all that shit. If you go in there undercover and you and you do something, you are committing a criminal act. Oh shit! That's not my So even with these videos that you see, like by PETA and everything, that fucking get leaked. Those people, whoever fucking took that video, if they find out who they are, they get fucking yeah, thrown in jail. They do, yeah. Holy yeah, shit! Yeah, it's illegal. Where you can't, you can't. And 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 that, from my standpoint, is why. Yeah, who made it? I mean, did we vote on it or was it a? Yeah, bill? the government. It's like I'm saying, where they they sneak shit in there, and people are distracted by other shit, and then all of a sudden, it's a law, and nobody really gives a shit about it. So more of the story is look into your laws. <laughs> no, one looks in, no one reads the fine print way. Nobody reads it. Who reads the fine print way? Even when you download an app, you're excited about something. You don't uh, read that Yes, shit. I accept. Yeah, I accept, 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 accept. accept. Put me through. Yes, I'm sure I want to. Uh, <laughs> fuck, dude, just give me my fucking app. And they even make you click on the little fucking link. Because they want to make sure that you understand. Yeah. You, you got to read, read the, read the terms and acknowledgements and everything. Like, all right, fucking, you scroll all the way down. Accept. Fuck, all right. The other day I opened up a, a Chase account and I went into the, the bank to open it up and the, the the lady gives me the fine print and I'm actually reading it. And she's looking at me like, what the fuck's wrong with you? I'm like, well, I have to read it. I mean, I'm not going to read the whole thing, obviously, but, skim it in. but to her, she's so used to people just signing it. And I get it. That's how we all are. But but I thought, just thought it was pretty funny that she was looking at me like, hey, wait, what, what's going yeah, on? Yeah. Wait, yeah. You don't need to read it. Like, wait. <laughs> firmale, firmale. <laughs> yeah, it's crazy. Fucking time is money. We have the same thing with uh, our customers. Whenever we install a modem or equipment, they have to, you know, go into it and register that equipment in the on the site. And I had the same thing with the customers. They started, I'm like, all right, so you just got to <laughs> initially, you know, like I guess electronicals, electronic signature on it yeah. or check, check mark and then you agree and everything. And I'm waiting because I'm like, okay, I got to get out of here within fucking 10 minutes. And I'm like, 
the fuck is he doing? And I'm like, and I saw him just reading. And I'm like, oh, fuck. I'm like, all right. See? Good job. Skimming it. And I'm like, yeah, I can't you're talking, rush him. You're talking shit, no one reads it, and then they read it, and you're and they read it, and you're like, hurrying fuck. them up. Yeah, that's how she was looking at me, too. Like, oh, one of those guys. Yeah, oh my god, this guy's gonna be a troublemaker. Yeah. Hey, why Just, did I get a two cent charge on a transaction? They were like, fuck, it's two cents. Yeah, yeah. But they add up, bro. I know. They do add up. <laughs> you know that most banks, dude, that's their the their, their bread and butter way? They round off or what? Like like the like the big yep. banks way? Like um their bread and butter is insufficient fund fees. That's how they make the majority of their money. By charging people insufficient fund fees. That's a that's a fucking poor people problem too. And uh, yeah, but what I'm saying is like some of these big banks that we all know and use, their biggest fucking money maker is charging people insufficient fund fees, way. But that's what I'm saying. It, it, it it's it's por decir um, what am I looking for? Por decir it's a tax on the poor, pues. Because mm -hmm. obviamente los los ricos aren't getting insufficient funds, and if they are, pues they can afford those thirty five dollars, way. Mm -hmm. uh, as opposed to un pinche pobre, way le cobras thirty five dollars and. The next one's thirty five dollars, and fucking, that's already money you you, you don't have. Like. Yeah, when I read that stat, I was like, Jesus, bro, fuck, that's a lot of fucking people that get charged every month. If that's what they fucking bank on doing, stuck out on way. Yeah, those pinch charges, pinch stuck out on way. And it makes, I mean, maybe thinking about it right now, I haven't really paid attention, but there's a lot of banks in the hoods way. Mm -hmm. There's a, there's a, well, there was a <laughs> there's a fucking Wells Fargo here, then there's a Chase here, Bank of America here. Right there, and then well, a, Pichu, Wells Fargo's been sued or or got busted too, no? For the home loans, no? For for yeah. some shit against the uh, yeah. black people and yeah. and minorities, way mm -hmm. about fucking uh, discriminating and shit. No, but there was a whole I think it was an article or was it like a documentary or something on YouTube I saw that the of how how Pinchy the banks. They'll be like pretty much like bank deserts too, way. So like, the the bank is is not in the like the the poor neighborhood, but it's right on the edge. So at the same time, they discriminate, but then they use that kind of an excuse to regulars to go, well, yeah, he applied, but technically he's not like in in our area that we serve. But it's like this bank, this branch is here, and they're like, but they don't have a branch there. Oh, but we're opening one next year. Mm. So they they get around shit like that way by saying, oh, but. Yeah, wait, but we try to serve our community, mm -hmm. and they're technically outside our community. Wait. Yeah. So they're using excuses like that way. Yeah, they're shady, bro. Pinches tranzas, way. Yeah. I, I do see a lot of check cashing places in the hood. But see, but I don't see them in the in the. In the are, that's also fucking poor people tax. Shit, I used I I was prey to those fucking day, uh loans. Those fucking oh yeah, same here. Payday loans. Payday loans. Fuck, dude. They used to fucking every two weeks, and then I had to get it again because I couldn't afford. I would get it, and then I would pay it. When I got paid again, and then I would immediately take it out again because I was already oh, behind. Shit. Yeah, so you're like short seventy dollars. I was, I, I, I was in that loop way. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. It's a poor people tax. Yeah. Way. I, I was in that for when I was married, fucking for like I think a year and a half, bro. Really? Fuck, dude! I couldn't even fucking get out of it. Yeah. Every fuck, and me, so I might have like, uh, like in tax season or whatever. I, Fucking, I'll pay it off and not get it, and then fucking a month or two later, ahí it. estamos otra vez. Yeah, yo también con los pawn shops. Esos y los pawn shops were like, shit. I had to fucking figure it out, man. <laughs> but the, the, that's the park I mean, like you, you that I, sometimes you see like a, even like a, like senators, or like fucking people that supposed to represent you. Most of the time, they don't even understand that way that 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 shit like that is a, a poor people tax, pues. Mm -hmm. like literally, it's a tax on the. Some of the rich don't even understand, you know? Mm -hmm. They just know, oh, shit, that's a good business way because these people, you get them stuck in a loop. They know that, but they don't regulate it because, oh, shit, this, this fucking financial business is doing well. It's paying yeah. their taxes, but it's keeping you down because it keeps you in a loop way. So it's a whole fucking vicious cycle way. Yeah, it's crazy. Da, da, it's fucking very fucked up. Man. Nah, well, fuck that, dude. I don't... I don't go to them. I haven't gone to them in years now. I mean, I would say at least uh, what, sixteen years now. Yeah, but you're in a you're in a better place now. Oh yeah, way better. But still though, I'm like I'm just glad. I I know there might be some people on it. Just try to get There's out. A of lot it. of people. Yeah, right? just listeners. If you're in it, just get out of that shit. It's just money down the drain. 
You know? Yeah, but como es este güey, But the saca de la puro, where you can't tell people that way. I know, but they, they try out. to get out of it. And, you know, it's just try to get out of it. Don't, you know. It's easier said than done, way. It is, way. It's, it's, it's our way. It's, people are struggling, bro. Especially yeah. now, way. Fuck, way. Yeah. The disparity is that cabrón, way. It's going to be, um, yeah, we, I don't, we haven't really seen the effects of the corona yet, way. We seen the, yeah, we seen the just financial. a snippet. I'm yeah, we just like seen just a snippet. The, the financial the, the effect. Tip of the iceberg. Yeah, yeah we, we haven't seen the bottom of the iceberg and shit. Porque even even during all this shit, way the the rich were still making all kinds of money while the poor people were fucking pretty much drowning. Way, but it's weird, way, because like um, there's some industries that are thriving. Way, like like the music business. I, I was reading an article the other day. Sweetwater, Z Sounds, Guitar Center, all these fucking companies showing record profits during yeah. Corona because everybody's like, oh, let me play guitar now. Oh, let me do this. Let me do that. So they were they got a lot of orders. And so what I'm thinking is these let me people, start a podcast. These people aren't going to fucking last. So there's going to be a lot of deals in the next six or seven <laughs> months. I'm keeping my eye open I'm, I'm on, keeping an eye on, on, on a, Craigslist a, and eBay. On a fucking bass amp. <laughs> a bass bass amp. Yeah, I'm looking for a bass amp, dude. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm keeping. I was looking on Amazon because I found one for a hundred bucks, and then when I went out, it was out of stock. I'm like, fuck. Yeah. So I'm but keeping an eye out. Deals, wait. Yeah, going Craigslist, where <laughs> or offer up. Yeah. Oh, well. You don't need a new way. No, no, I mean, eh. it, it, the music equipment is not like, uh, let's say, uh, what well, even the mixer way or or mics. That stuff just get a used way. You don't need a new. All right. You're not buying a fucking TV where yeah, so I've been keeping an eye out, so I'm still looking out for 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 a fucking bass amp. So a lot of people fucking started new hobbies. A lot of people started a lot of new shit, where so it's crazy. I I I guess if I wouldn't have been working, I think I would have started. You know, I would have done other shit, but then still do, kept doing things to stay busy. I would have been doing fucking side episodes, or I would have been pick, I would have maybe started already learning the bass. I wonder how many podcasts started this time when well all oh. the mics i was just talking to someone and all but i mean all the all the regular mics like the the podcast type mics way they're also fucking pretty much sold out everywhere no we, shit mixers are in short supply podcast fucking type mics are sold out so any anything related like that way is fucking sold out one. so we're gonna have some deals soon way yeah, we could, uh, if I can. My, my loss is your gain. Those are the kind of ads I want to see. <laughs> <laughs> no, no firm. I don't know fucking dealing with firm. <laughs> no fucking mic tappers, eh? Bam, bam, bam. Uh, <laughs> that's funny. No mic sniffers. <laughs> 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 uh, hey, shit. Yeah, so, I mean, uh, it's some people have thrived i was just listening to a podcast the other day because of the pandemic they uh they they saw the need and they started doing their own um you know the mask and dude it's like they're 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 uh entrepreneurs now you know like they started their business and they're doing really good and to the point where like you know they're they're starting to get help now or you know resourcing other people to help them make the the keep the, up with the orders that's a tough one way because that's that's a seasonal business so if you invest a lot in it that's a chance you could lose it but that, well also in this podcast i was hearing that, that this individual she understands that it, it might you know there's gonna be an overabundance or like uh in, what is it what do they call them saturation of people making these masks so she got smart she's like i'm not i'm only taking certain amounts i'm not going beyond my mean but i i did get help because i still have a regular job mm -hmm. you know so i got someone that doesn't have a job and they're helping me out so i'm not expanding it much but i'm keeping it and everything i'm saving it i'm saving it and i'm gonna invest it you know mm -hmm. you don't know my life eh? i'm like oh shit that's not bad you know you don't know my life. No, no, you know, they're not making, they're not getting their profits and then spending it like, oh, fuck yeah, hey, let me go. Call my test, I haven't finished my story. Oh, I'm sorry, bro. What happened? <laughs> no, I'm saying this. Oh, it's the <laughs> Whoa, 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 bro. She also said. Yeah, there was more to it, yeah. <laughs> mm. I don't know, wait, sometimes greed gets involved where you know you can make more and it's hard. Wait, greed, when it comes to like, when you're making money, greed is fucking just one fucking, it's always looking, way And... The bigger score, way. It, yeah, exactly. Oh fuck! If I made this, if I do this, it's that kind of way. I just need fucking to make I mean, five thousand make, more. They're making a lot of money, way. My, I have a friend that his wife makes like, and he said, like six, six hundred to a thousand dollars a fucking day, dude. Selling masks. She gets them from where she works at in downtown, 
And um, she just fucking she's Resells them. delivering and then fucking reselling them, man. Don't the way, I'm yeah, mask. yeah, we on masks. Should have made some masks. Remember when Ramon said, "Hey, should we make some shuffle masks?" And I was like, ah, "Por qué, güey?" <laughs> I, I've brought in a couple of fucking ideas, and then I thought, oh, you know, maybe we should have. Right see, right away. Maybe we should have. Right oh, away. Ramon did say this. We so. probably still have the mask right, right there. Right, We've been making a dozen a day this way. Maybe we should do that, you know. Yeah, we got hit up. I'm like, hey, did we can make a print for you guys. And I'm like, fuck it, we'll get the material with the print. I'll fucking, I'll, I'll, I'll hire Doña Meche que nos haga las mascaras. And then we'll, you know. Mm. Yeah. Still not sold. Um, I'm just saying, we could have had some shuffle fucking mask out there. We could have, but we didn't. Yeah, but the people don't even buy a shirt. What are they going to buy? Rosa doesn't even wear a mask. I know. <laughs> I know, right? That was a overstock, where you look at. Fucking giving them away in raffles. You might, as well, you might as well make a mask with, the with like, the nose cut out, way. We should order those plague masks, dude, and just wear that, those beak ones. Oh, shit. see what people say, where. scary ones, dude. <laughs> uh, you know, plague, they used bro. to stuff those with, uh, what was it, puppery or... Puppery? Fu- they used to stuff it with some herbs in there, so to mask the, the, the smell. smell. Mm. You know, I'm like, I always wonder why are they the fucking the beaks? What, what's the fucking the creepy problem? mask? They look creepy, way. Yeah, they are, way. Yeah, way. Yeah, fuck yeah, dude. I remember seeing one of those in a Marilyn Manson video. Mm. And I'm all like, right what away. the fuck? What is that? Mm. And then from there, it's like I started seeing them, you know, like I, I started seeing them more and shit. Yeah, they're, they're a trippy look, way. But it's in pinches patos, no? <laughs> it reminds me of the, uh, what is it, Spy versus Spy? Oh, those little crows? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's true. It does remind me of that. Yeah. I remember for one Halloween, I think um, the Mija and I got that outfit. The what? Spy versus Spy. No shit. Yeah. Was your, your, your couple's costume one? Yeah, it was. <laughs> oh, shit. This it's year, romantic. I'm thinking of going you goth. so romantic. I'm go I thought goth. Halloween was canceled, right? Uh, it's not. I'm going to have a... I'm just going to fucking put the project in the back in the backyard. I'm going to watch movies. Mm. I'm just, just going to... Wait for it to come down. Fucking, I'll have the, uh, uh, the Mija and I will fucking make some, some, I don't know, some nachos. Some, and some Bloody chili. Marys. And, f- and fucking just put on scary movies, way. No shit. Thinking of seeing The Last Shift again. Oh, that's a good fucking I movie. I love that fucking movie, dude. That's a badass movie. It's trippy, huh? Oh, fuck yeah, dude. It's fucking scary, but, dude. But that twist at the end is pretty good. Yeah. You don't expect it. It's fucking... It's creepy. It's scary. Uh, me, me sudan las pinches manos, güey. Yeah, that's a good fucking movie. I forgot about that movie. And it's a little low budgety, But it's simple, but uh, it's like... It, it has... It gets you in the key moment, eh? That was on the list of... Uh, the Blue Whale. The Blue Whale, where that, that fucking... That, that game where, where they were... Telling kids to commit suicide at the end. Well, right? the the oh, end shit. game is to commit suicide, no? Yeah. So one of the one of the tasks is to watch uh, scary movies all night, and they had a list, and that one was on it. That's uh, fucking. It's, that's another one of those things about the internet where that there's oh, a lot of shit. weird shit like that way. Yeah. But the fucking stupid challenges, man. Yeah. Well, the other one I remember. I remember when you told me about it. I was looking for the blue whale, but I was cautious about it because someone told me about the blue waffle. Ugh. No oh, mames. <laughs> Only Ramon, way. No, mames. I don't the know if you guys waffle. have heard of the blue waffle. I don't know if I want to know. I don't know even want to know. <laughs> it's <laughs> terrible. Do not look it up, people. Please. Blue waffle. <laughs> the blue waffle? What, yeah. what if IHOP comes out with a blue waffle and they, they didn't do their research? Uh, right? No marketing, way. <laughs> <laughs> They're going to. Hey, let's go with the blue waffle, bro. Nobody has it. <laughs> <laughs> the blue waffle, way. It's, it's, uh, it's terrible. It's some sex shit or what is it's, it? Yeah, it's, uh. Ah, fuck, I'm trying to remember, but it's got to do something with, like, a rotten penis or something, dude. Or Jesus like, Christ. Oh, yeah, like, we don't need to know. It's terrible, way. A rotten penis. I don't know. It's something fucking... And this is years ago, way. I mean, it must have been, like, five years ago that I looked it up, because then, like, three years ago, you told us about the, the, the blue whale. Mm-hmm. I'm like, do I want to look into that? I don't know. It's going to be, like, the blue waffle. Chalice, man. What's that? What's that phobia that people don't like? like oh, the, the one with the holes? Yeah. Oh, I don't know. I forgot the name of that. The other day I got caught in that in that rabbit hole. I started Googling it and watching all the fucking pic- pictures. I can see why people get freaked oh, out about no it. Oh, no mames, man. That fucking horror, man. You don't like that shit? No. Why? Fuck no, way. Like... Uh, fucking some of them, some of them were a Photoshop way. Right? Yeah, yeah. Clearly. Like they had like no, the but whole some hand. of the, some of them are pretty fucking believable. Yeah, but that's I can see why people get creeped out about that shit. Way, but shit. Oh, what is it called? It's it's, it's some kind of way. phobia way. But yeah. but they're they're afraid of like things that have like a lot of circles and holes yeah. close to each other. 
Stucka Brown? Yeah, it's fucking, it's got a name to it. Uh, holds in I, I like that you can't just say I don't like it. Automatically, you need to have a phobia. Yeah. Like, they automatically <laughs> have to label it. You know? Tri- tripophobia. Yeah, something like that. Why can't, why can't it just be like, oh, I don't like those those holes, the, the menudo meat, the menudo. that kind of shit. <laughs> automatically, you have a phobia. Yeah, like, ah. no way, but they, they get associated with it, you know, but no, it says I'm an horror, way. Me da horror. Yeah, oh, yeah. Me dan ñañeras, güey. Ay. Ay. Chirramón. No, sí. Uy, qué horror. Uy, se me palita en los pelos. Está cabrón. Se me hizo el cuero de gallina. Mira, mira mis pelos, se me pararon. Yeah, now he's got a little bit of goosebumps. Fuck that, dude. Mira, the thing's going off the charge with the heart rate. Fucking phone. Yeah, no way, but... Off the charge, bro. Fuck that, dude. I think we're going to have to call it, guys. No. Uh, technical sure issues, man. Yeah, technical issues, uh, setbacks, and everything. And I know this is this is a short episode. We're, we're going to owe it to you. Or no. This Fuck is it. the new standard, bro. Oh, uh, yeah. Welcome to... To yeah. the new year way, the contract says we can record more, more for an hour without a break. <laughs> yeah. Well, more more than 30 minutes without a break. <laughs> yep. Um, before we end, uh, Esteban, do you have anything you want to share? Or? No, we're, everything's good. Yeah? Mm-hmm. Ferns? Uh, I don't know. Wait, I'll, I'll let you wait. Well, All right. While you, look, while you look it up. Um, just so that you guys know, we're coming up to October. Every year we do our scary movie episode. No, scary, scary movie. movie. Scary yeah, story about. episode. Sorry, I was yes. thinking of the movie still. <laughs> uh, Vinci, the, the fucking, hey, the last shift. Fucking good movie, man. Scary. Si te gusta asustarte, fucking check it out, eh? It's a good movie, yeah. Um, but we're going to start doing our, our scary story, we're setting it up for Halloween. I know there's uh, new listeners, or maybe there's a couple of listeners that maybe haven't participated before or anything. Or maybe, you know, you have a new story that you didn't get to share last time. Fucking send them into the, the, the Chicano Shuffle DM. And, uh, you know, we'll, we'll take it from there. We'll start getting them and uh, we'll get them ready for Halloween. I'm going to start promoting it here to, the, I guess, the, the week before Halloween. It's coming up. I know. Ya vamos a comenzar. Yeah. So... Thanks. So I forgot about fucking one for the whole month. So my bad one. But um, so we have two new patrons, way. What? Shit. So Fuck one yeah. of them was, was the beginning of September, way. Look at they go. My bad way. Pinche Alfredo Nava. Alfredo Nava. Nice, bro. Oh, hey, And then nice. a new one that was this week, which was fucking Daniel Hernandez. Daniel oh, Hernandez. Man. Daniel Leach. Yeah, Daniel Leach is oh, back. Daniel oh, Leach. Oh, fucking rose from the ashes, eh? Fuck. Like the fucking phoenix. We got him back. I'm, yeah. I'm assuming it's Daniel H. Mm-hmm. La fotita. We yeah, knew. that's fucking Daniel H. Right there, Daniel H. We knew you were going to be back, bro. Yeah, no, fucking <laughs> takes a break and like, ah, yeah, you sometimes know. Sometimes you need a break, bro. Yeah, sometimes, yeah. We, yeah. I got to venture off to new fucking other podcasts. Es que he, he, he hasn't been able to get out to the bars because they're closed. So <laughs> check this He's got extra feria sending it to the show for late. He, he, he hoard around other podcasts, but he realized where his heart was. <laughs> Pero gracias al, Alfredo Nava. Hey, thank you, Alfredo. Uh, Alfredo. Gracias, Alfredo. Ya lleva 24 días. My bad, homie. Oh, I know. Sure. Thank hey, you, guys, man. We we're late, it. but, you know, we'll, we'll get there. And, and um... I don't know if by, by, by the time this comes out, I don't know if we've, if we've put up the sticker stuff and the fucking little tacita stuff, but um, we haven't. Hopefully, it'll be by, this week. Yeah, by this week. So I know that uh, we had a couple of DMs. Uh, El Lobo will hit you up, and you'll see it. And um, and uh, what else is it? Oh, well, don't forget to fucking review us, share us, and, uh, you know, just spread the word out there. All right, Raza? Uh, a ratos with that, eh? Yeah, Peace. Yeah, everything. Orale, pues. Bye. Al ratos votaré.